So now that you have created your first product or series of products inside of SamCart, let's set up how you're going to accept payments. From your SamCart dashboard, find the drop down menu in the top right hand corner of your screen and click on settings. Then over here back over on the left of the screen, click on integrations. And we're going to focus on this top section right here called payment. At this time, SamCart integrates with Stripe for credit card payments and PayPal for PayPal payments. You can have one or both on any individual checkout page that you'd like. On your screen, you're not going to have anything integrated just yet, so you're going to click on Add New. And we'll start by walking you through how to connect with Stripe. Click on the button to add a Stripe account, and you'll be redirected to a page completely controlled by Stripe. If you already have an account with Stripe, come up here to the top right and click on the Sign In button. You'll be able to sign into your account, choose which Stripe account you'd like to connect with SamCart, if applicable, and then activate that Stripe account inside of SamCart. If you don't have a Stripe account, we highly recommend them. We've been using them ourselves for years now, and SamCart customers have processed over $100 million of credit card transactions through Stripe. Great service, very, very easy to set up. Just scroll down the page, and you'll see just a little bit of a form here where you tell Stripe a little bit about your business, and you can be live and accepting payments in just a couple of minutes. I already have an account with Stripe, so I'm going to click on Sign In. Once I enter in my login details and click Sign In, I'll be redirected to a page where I get to choose which one of my Stripe accounts that I would like connected to this account here. Select your account and hit connect to my Stripe account and you'll be automatically redirected back into your SAM card account. And the most recent Stripe account that you have connected with will be marked as active. Now if you want to set up a PayPal account, click on add new and simply select PayPal. You can give this processor a label, which is really just for your own use so you know which PayPal account you're connected to. And the other three pieces of information that you need are found inside of your PayPal account. So go ahead and log into your PayPal account and then come down here and hit click here to get PayPal credentials. If you are logged into your PayPal business account and click this button, you'll be taken to this page where you have two options, request API signature or request API certificate. All you need to do is click request API signature and agree and submit. And then click on each one of these buttons one at a time for your API username, API password and signature, and then simply copy that information back into the corresponding fields here and click Submit. Once PayPal is active, you'll be able to scroll over and see the label that you've chosen so you know which PayPal is which. For more in-depth tutorials about connecting with PayPal and Stripe and the unique things that each one has to offer, make sure you click on the related articles down below this video. Now that I've connected and have Stripe and PayPal active, I'm going to go back to my products. And inside of each of your products, there are two options that we'd like to highlight. Right now, if I open up this checkout page, you'll see this yellow banner at the top that says this product is in sandbox mode. Sandbox mode is what you would use to test purchases without actually charging any money. For more information about sandbox mode and how to use it, click on the related article down below this video. But each product you have will default to sandbox mode. But now that I have Stripe and PayPal activated, I can come over here and flip this checkout page from sandbox into live. Select Save Changes, and when you refresh your checkout page, you'll see that yellow banner is gone, and this checkout page is now ready to accept live payments. Inside of your product settings, you can actually choose whether to accept PayPal and or credit card payments through Stripe on this individual checkout page. For many product settings, click on the Details tab, and scroll down until you see this section for Payment Processor. Because I have both Stripe and PayPal activated, I can choose to have one or both if you'd like to turn off PayPal payments, just toggle over to No and click Save Changes. And you'll notice that when you refresh your checkout page and scroll down, the PayPal button is no longer there. Credit card is the only option you're offering your customers. If I go back in and decide I'd like to turn on PayPal payments, I simply toggle from No to Yes and allow PayPal payments and save my changes. Refresh the checkout page that you're working on scroll down and you'll see that now your customers can select again from both credit card and PayPal. So you're now live and set up to accept real payments. Toggle each of your products out of sandbox mode, choose whether you'd like to accept credit card or PayPal on your checkout pages. You're now ready to grab your checkout page links, publish your checkout pages all over the web, and start collecting live orders.